Okay, I wanted to do a quick uh, look at the uh, at my Canon 5D Mark III workflow here with Final Cut Pro 7. I used to own a Canon 7D, and uh, with that camera, I just used uh, Final Cut Pro 7's login transfer with the uh, Canon E1 plugin, and that worked great. But uh, unfortunately, at this moment in time it does not support uh, the 5D Mark III. So I then, I then tried MPEG Stream Clip and it uh, converted to fine but I didn't like the results. There was definitely a shift, uh, a shift in color that I didn't like. So I purchased the uh, 5D to RGB app from the App Store from Rare Vision and uh, the results are really really good there's absolutely no color shift whatsoever with it so um, I'm really happy with it so here we go I have a uh, 5D Mark III raw file which I'm just going to um, drag and drop in the uh, 5D to RGB app and I'm going to go with ProRes 422 it's 24 frames per second okay this here is important to note here the decoding matrix the decoding matrix for the uh, for previous Canon DSLRs used to be 601, but now with the 5D Mark III, uh, it's 709. So be sure to put it at 709. Luminance range, you put to full range. Chroma mode is default. Post processing is none unless uh, you've shot on the Technicolor Cine style and you want to apply uh, the LUT. But uh, this was shot neutral, so none. And um, correction, uh, gamma correction is set at one also. So 422, 24 frames, 709, full range. And let's go, start to batch. Choose your output directory, which is right here, 5D ProRes 422. And away it goes. And here's the... Uh, file that's being converted. The only, um, the only downside of the 5D to RGB that I've noticed is that it is, it is slower than the uh, Canon plugin uh, and uh, MPEG stream clip. It's slower but it's definitely a higher quality which I'm going to show you now once it finishes transcoding. I'm going to compare the raw shot file with the uh, converted one and you'll see that uh, is absolutely no color shift whatsoever. Okay, we're about to finish here. And there we go. Okay. So this is the raw file right here. This is the raw file. And this is the con converted file right here. So the right side is the raw file, the left side is the ProRes file. This is ProRes, okay, and this is the raw file. And as you can see, I don't, I don't see any change whatsoever in color and contrast. I mean, there might be a slight, I don't even, I don't know, I mean, the ProRes file looks like it might be a little darker in a, in a couple of... I'm looking at the tree here and trying to see. But you know what? This is pretty much dead on. I mean, you can't get much better than this. I mean, a lot better than MPEG Stream Clip, in my opinion. Okay, so now all you have to do is go to Final Cut Pro, import that file, and you're ready to edit. This is the file to import. And uh, you do get this media performance warning when you uh, use 5D to RGB, but don't worry about this. I asked about this. I emailed them, and they said this is nothing to worry about. Uh, and, yeah, the clip is working fine. I've already edited a couple of uh, short little tests together, and I had no problem whatsoever. So, yeah, let's just put an endpoint in an endpoint and there's your clip
ready to edit with. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Take care. Bye.